Okay, guys, welcome to a special edition of InfoWeather. I'm young meteorologist Chris Dixon here. Of course, we are looking at our Ash Wednesday cold blast that we have been tracking the past few days. In case you don't know, today is Ash Wednesday. Temperatures are starting to drop. It's going to be very, I was going to say nice, it's going to be cold. We are going to get a few more, about one inch or maybe a little more than one inch of snow on the ground by this weekend. And then this weekend we'll get some rain snow, mostly to rain for once. Yes, we actually get rain. We're going to get out of this cold sooner or later. We have a wind chill advisory in effect from now to noon Friday. And really, I guess we should wait for the big reveal. Should, should I do that now? Okay, I'll do that now. <laughs> I won't give you time to answer. I know you want to know. Um, today, uh, after taking our park assessments, which were pretty fun, um, seven questions. I don't know how they can test your skills off of seven questions, but I guess they can. Um, we have three different calculators that I have come up with. This one's really the general calculator, the calculator that I use mainly uh, bias towards the auto calculator and what I personally think um, the auto calculator is the one that is the direct correlation with the formulas that I came up with today to solve for no school and then our park calculator is the same thing as the auto calculator just subtracting 20% um, due to the park assessments being round but we did get to add a 5% bonus because um, there's the wind chill advisory until noon Friday. So pretty cool there. It's going to be nice. going to be cool. And yeah, uh, let's get to it. So it's going to be negative 10 temperature on Friday. Wind chill Friday is going to also be negative 10. Thursday uh, at 7 a.m. the temperature is going to be negative 3. And the wind chill at 7 a.m. is going to be negative 20. Uh, maybe even negative 21 it's gonna be very cold those next two days we shouldn't have school okay this one I'm actually if I can get this uploaded in time tonight I am going to send this to you dr. Kellogg of Westerville City Schools I am going to send this to you please watch this video please think about it carefully think about those kids walking to school think about kids like me who have to wait for the bus maybe five minutes maybe even longer Think about how the diesel fuel uh, in the buses might might gel up. Think about um, how the buses could break down in the middle of their route and then it's 30 minutes late of park testing. The park test can't even get started and then there's no point in me even having them anyway. You should just cancel school anyway. So yes, um, I'm gonna... Well, let's get started, okay? Let's just get started. So first, I'm going to reveal the park calculator, the calculation that tells us what we will have uh, the chance of having school because we have park assessments. This is for 43082, pretty much the same thing as 43081. Thursday, 72%, that's tomorrow, Friday, 84%, but because it's two days away, we have the uh, we have it at 65% because of that, but on the one day calculator, it is 84%. Okay, now to my calculator. Thursday, it's gonna be 80%, Friday, 90%. I don't think we're gonna have school either day. I mean, it's just not right to have school, have kids way down in that cold, have the buses freeze up. I mean, that's just two things, I mean, not good at all. And of course, the auto calculator right there, 87% Thursday, 99%. That's actually the legit prediction that my calculator came up with was exactly 99%. I know, not exactly 100. But definitely going to be very cool, very fun, and definitely going to be a fun ride here. Uh, it's going to be cold, and there, there just shouldn't be school. So, Dr. Kellogg, I hope you get that. And everybody else who's watching, just be prepared for the cold, even if we do have school tomorrow. Um, and be prepared for those park assessments uh, tomorrow that we probably shouldn't even have school tomorrow. But still be prepared, have a good night's rest, 
and have a great breakfast in the morning even if we don't have school because uh, you have the time to make one.